Hello guys, today I'm going to be calling this Jar of Fears. Um, the reason why I'm not doing a tier list is because I saw these videos where they did jars and I thought it looked cool, so I decided I'd do that. So, this is Fears Edition. So, small spaces. I'm not really afraid of small spaces unless it's like a cave. Because I'm real afraid of caves. Like, I don't want to go into a cave. If someone asks me to go into a cave for a million dollars. Or pounds. I keep saying dollars. I don't know why. I'm American now. But I'm going to put it halfway. Because if you're talking about, like, a box or a small room. Unless it's dark in that small room. Then I'm not scared of it. Height. It really depends. If there's a way to get down, then I'm fine with that. But if there's, like, someone trying to push me off, or if there's no way to get down, then I guess I'll put this quarter of a way, because I'm more afraid of caves than if I were to be, I don't know, on top of a big thing. Spiders. I'm actually not afraid of spiders at all, so... Yeah, that, that's all it's getting. Darkness. I'm not, I'm not scared of darkness because I sleep in my bed in darkness all the time. I'll put that sometimes I hear noises that are literally just people walking and I'm scared. Public speaking. Does it just count if I'm speaking or does it count if I'm dancing? If it's dancing, then with... I mean with other people, but if it's like with a bunch of people, then I'm not too afraid. But then if it's by myself, then I'm just going to put it halfway because, like, why not? going to put the size down. Um, clowns. I am scared of clowns. It's like, I know they're just rainbow funny things that I'm um, just ride around in weird cars but still that scares me because there's just something about them that just makes me scared like if I were to go to a circus I wouldn't actually run away but I'd just be a little bit mostly when I'm near them snakes I live in Scotland, so they don't have snakes, but if I were to go to, for example, Africa, I don't know where they live, um, I'm just going to say Africa, because I think snakes live there, don't they? Maybe rattlesnakes, but that counts as a snake, um, um, I would be scared, especially if it was a cobra, because they're poisonous, so I'm going to put it up to there. By the way, the reason I'm not using other colors is because I don't want to be going back and forth. And we're not doing it for the colors, are we? We're, we're just seeing what my fears are. Losing a loved one. I've already lost. lost. <laughs> oh, I didn't say lost. Um, lost two of my budgies and I didn't like it, but put it halfway. Water, drowning, I'm scared of water. So this thing happened a while ago um, on Wednesday. Um, um, that time I go to my swimming lessons and I was jumping in the water because normally I land on my feet. I bet you know what's gonna, what happened. I fell under the water. Luckily I got up in time because it wasn't too high. Fire. If there was a fire in my house, then I'd be scared, but if it, like, wasn't in my house, I don't know what they're exactly talking about. I don't know if they mean if I'm scared that a fire will happen immediately, or if a fire was in my house, would I be scared? I'm just going to put it halfway, because I'd know what to do if there was a fire, and... Also, I'm kind of confused because I don't know what they're talking about. Duh.
I'm scared of death. Like, I know that, like, I'm literally eight years old, and, in, like, it will probably take years for me to die, but I don't know what will happen. Um, maybe I'll break a bone, and then it will end up killing me. I don't know, so I'll put it up here. Or if I'll just randomly die out of nowhere. I know that probably won't happen. Like, I don't, I won't just fall to the ground and just die, but. I don't know why. I, oh, pretend that isn't there. Abuser. I'm not afraid of that, because I can't just punch them in the face and leave, so. Growing older, I'm not too afraid of that, so do it halfway, because why not? So I'm a little bit afraid of it. Other people, social anxiety. It really depends. I have a lot of friends, but I am a little bit afraid of strangers. Like, if they were to come up to me and speak to me, I'd probably just be standing there like not speaking or like i'd just be awkwardly standing there even if they said something to me so i'll put it up to there it's like i'm not afraid of just um walking in public ignore that um but basically i was, i'd just be scared if someone were to come up to me germs i'm not afraid of germs because i kind of feel invincible like i only get sick like once in a while some people get sick like at least once a month or year but um i don't get i get only get sick every maybe um once a month maybe even once a year um so put it there it really depends what germ it is. If it's like cancer or something, I'd be scared. Going insane. I just put that little dot, but I'm not really afraid of that because what's going to happen to make me go insane? Like, I used to have anger issues, which kind of counts, but... Oh. I'll just get a rubber and... Oh. I'll fix that. Um... One sec. Okay, I fixed it and I just put that a little bit, but abandonment. I'm not afraid of that, so I'm technically just gonna add a little dot. I was gonna add and make it empty, but being caught in a shooting, what's that? I don't know if it either means getting caught doing a crime or getting like, like I'm hiding, but then the person finds me and you know so i'm not afraid of that because obviously i'm never gonna do a crime and also um i put it a little bit high i guess i was gonna add a little dot like some of the others but like it would be scary if someone found me anesthesia what does that mean Sounds weird. Um, one second, did I Google what that means? I Googled it, and I think it means, like, you know when a doctor kind of, I think either puts that mask on you and it makes you go to sleep, just being put to sleep. Um, I think that would be pretty scary, so I'll put it up, like, halfway. Dying alone. Uh, no, not really. The unknown. Hmm, it really depends. I'll put it like... What? Sorry, I was gone. My mum just called me for something. Um, anyways, on to the next one, I think. Flying. Why would that be scary? That looks cool. Well, it sounds cool, but I've never seen someone flying. 
I added one tiny pink dot. If I were to fall, that would be scary, but holes. It really depends. If I fall into a hole, I'd be scared, but if it's just a thing with holes on it, then... Like that. Swarming insects. Depends what those insects are. If it's fire ants, then I am scared. But if it's just, I don't know, worms, spiders, normal ants, put it up like that. Because if it's fire ants, then I'd put it up more. But I'm just going to leave that one. Because I don't even know. Failure. Not really, because I know my parents probably wouldn't care, or nobody would care. Becoming paralyzed. I think that means, like, fainting. Put it up, like, there. You know what? I don't care if it doesn't go inside the lines. Um, others finding out your secrets. Um, I don't really have any secrets, so... If I had secrets, then I'd be scared of people finding them out, and... Well, that's all of them. If any of them look empty, it's because either I did it so small that you can barely see it, or I did leave the pregnancy one out, because I think that's inappropriate. So. <clears throat> I don't really know. I don't know what's inappropriate, but I know what it is, and it looks inappropriate, and sounds inappropriate. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'll end the video here because I've done all of them. Bye.